The purpose of the main battery in an aircraft is to provide an emergency source of electrical power when the generator is not running and to provide power to start the engine or the auxiliary power unit. Batteries are also used in emergency lighting systems and in torches. A battery is made up of a number of cells, which convert chemical energy into electrical energy by a transfer of electrons from one material or electrode to another through a chemical known as an electrolyte causing a potential difference or voltage between the two electrodes. During the transfer of electrons, the chemical composition of the two materials changes. The cells of a battery can be split into two types, known as primary cells and secondary cells. In this lesson, we will look at primary cells. A primary cell consists of two electrodes, immersed in a chemical called an electrolyte. The electrolyte encourages electron transfer between the electrodes until there is a potential difference between them. When the electron transfer ceases, the cell is fully charged, and the potential difference is approximately 1.5 volts between the two electrodes. When the positive and negative terminals of the electrodes are connected to an external circuit, electrons flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal through the circuit. At the same time, more electrons are allowed to transfer inside the cell from the positive to the negative electrode. As this circulation of electrons continues, the negative electrode slowly dissolves in the electrolyte. When all of the chemical energy is used up, the potential difference will fall to zero. The process cannot be reversed, so the cell must now be discarded. Most aircraft torches use single-cell batteries of the primary cell type. A typical primary cell is shown here. The central carbon rod is the positive electrode and the zinc plate case forms the negative electrode. The electrolyte between the electrodes is in the form of a paste so batteries of this type are often referred to as dry cells. That is the end of the lesson. You now know that a battery is made up of a number of cells which convert chemical energy into electrical energy. You also know that primary cell batteries cannot be recharged and need to be discarded once their chemical energy has been used up.